Alright, uh, yeah, stop your request for a video. Bana raho. Iski UI user interface. So I'll start with the. Take it. Let's go on. Karte hain pehle hum. Alrighty, this is the user interface walkthrough for S3. Uh, this is the home screen. So this thing shows up. First thing you will notice that they have added short keys over here for a quick link to the operations. If you click drop, plop. And if you want to open some other thing, so. This is the unlock. This is the home page. All right. This is how it browses. I made several already designed according to accordingly. So there is a shortcut, for example, to the phone. So it goes to the phone. Google search for my music player. So this is those things. Uh, Second thing is these these are how the folders look like if you make a folder of those thing uh, this is a uh, normal stuff calendar widgets Evernote and seven player widget some of my applications entertainment section games social network so this is how gonna be so if once you drop down you'll see on the top this thing scrolls left to right to show you that it is scrollable. So you just scroll left to right to turn on and off shortcuts like Wi-Fi, GPS, sound, screen lock, just like any other Android has it. So these are what we call notification or ongoing applications. Right now it's only IM Plus. If I start Skype, So now you can see Skype and this thing running. This is how notifications are shown, new messages. So cancel. <coughs> As you can see, these are now five. Before it was four in Android S2, Samsung. So they have usually because since they have increased the size of the screen, so you can see four or five. So these are how applications are shown up. So these are all applications that I have. If you go to the widgets, <coughs> these are the widgets. A whole lot of widgets. <coughs> Sorry about that. If you go to the settings, that's how the settings comes up. I have a lot of new stuff in it. Sound LED indicator. This was a new. This is a new thing. The LED is right here. Whenever there is a notification, for example, missed event or something like that, low battery charging stuff like that, it turns on and start blinking in different colors. Uh, they've also added a tapping system to go to the top. For example, if I go to the contact section. and I browse down I want to go to on top of it I'll do this I think I have to see it scrolled up quickly so they have added a tapping for take to the top and uh, what else we here 
the gallery has been quite modified bigger icons camera is super fast well some of my images uh, I cannot show you the camera because for the camera I have to lift up the phone and then you will see anything so what else we have here we have a new way of calendar now it's called S calendar this is how S calendar works shows birthdays and everything let me give you a tour of S voice hi galaxy play music So it's much better than the S2's voice recognition system. Open gallery. Opening media. So this is much better than the one that they have in S2 or maybe Note. Okay. So what else we have now here is um, let's see. So it simply works like this go to the apps go to the apps let's say I want S voice just hold it on and you can drop it so there it goes back to home app uh, Zinio there we go that's how it works so I don't want this I'll delete it over here I don't want this I delete it over here and uh, that's pretty much the Android 4 S3 version of so, UI and it's pretty fast you see quickly quickly so the part 2 of this video will have a different launcher that I'm using right now this is the default launcher which is called I don't know what so there is a part 2 now see ya